sometimes we have a polynomial that we need to factor that isn't a trinomial and isn't a binomial difference of squares and isn't any doesn't really fit any of the patterns that we've seen so far. When that happens, we need to check and see if we could factor by grouping things that are the same into into similar groups so that we can pull out pieces of each group. Here, if we take a look at this example, we see that we have 2x plus 2y, and each of those terms has a 2 in it, and we have ax plus ay, and each of those terms has an a in it. So if we sort of handle those things separately, we could write 2x plus 2y as, let me change colors so it's a little easier to see, as 2 times x plus y because that would be the same thing as 2x plus 2y, right? Just sort of the factored version. And then we would add that to a times x plus y. Again, the factored version of this up here. So then these two things are the same. Now we have 2 times x plus y and a times x plus y. So now we could actually factor this polynomial by pulling out the x plus y from each term. If we do that, we get x plus y times 2, because this is gone, plus a, because this is gone. So now we've factored this original sort of long pattern into two different binomials, x plus y times 2 plus a. Factoring this poly polynomial is pretty much the same process as the last one. We're just going to group things together so that we can pull something out of each pair, and then we'll see if those things can factor afterward. So our two pairs here are going to be 3x squared plus 6x and 4x plus 8. Oops, sorry. 4x plus 8. So 3x squared and 6x, those both share a 3x. So we can pull that 3x out. And here we'd be left with just x to the first. So we'll have an x to the first inside. And then if we pull 3x out of 6x, we get 2. So we'll have x plus 2 inside. And then we'll add that to, here we can pull, looks like a 4 out. So 4 times x plus 8 divided by 4 is 2, x plus 2. And sure enough, now we have 3x times x plus 2 plus 4 times x plus 2, so we can pull that x plus 2 out, and we'll get x plus 2 times 3x plus 4. So that's the factored version of this long rambling polynomial up here on top.